Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Is this the longest barrel we have in game? I don't want to I don't want to go out on a limb here, but here's the object I might have to look at length online. But there's the object. Oops, let's 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 put that into the uh So here's the object. And here's, oh, I think the object is still longer. See, it goes from this rock. This is a scientific uh, scaling measurement here to like this tree here. Yeah, God, I mean, I, I think that was su successful measurement. Not the longest, but holy cow. What a what an addition to the game. This is the Vidar Vidar, which is a Norwegian, yeah, a Norwegian SP something indirect artillery. This is where we're at right now. Okay, it's it's labeled a, a uh, cl it's classified in War Thunder as a tank destroyer, and that ex that is very well what it possibly is. Holy cow. It is 48 tons, 1,700 horsepower, max speed. Wow. This thing is moving around. Shooting and scooting, I think, is going to be um, wh what it was designed to do. Send off three rounds and then move kilometers away to uh, counter, counter artillery. Now, what makes this thing special is not the 155 barrel, which is one of the biggest barrels in the game. Um uh, but it has technology that I don't think any other derp gun has in the game. Now, this is a 7.7, .7, which is a quite high for a conventional shooting big gun. A lot of them are 7.0 or 7. Point, I think 7.0 are the highest. Uh, 6.7 for the derp gun. But what this one does that I, I'm not, there's so many vehicles now, but I want to say that none of them else do. For a 155, look at this thing. Is it has a laser range finder that makes well, here we go. Let's just send it right here. Oh, that was too early. Good reload too. So it's gonna make that first shot. Golly. Like high explosive has gotten so lethal in this game. Let's go a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Wow, okay, this is the, the let's just go for this little nook right here. Okay. Um I let's not focus on the IS2 or the IS4M. But pretty much Close range or not not even close range. Look at what we can do. We can use the laser range finder to just put HE right on the mantlet. Look at that. That is something that you know, okay, I really gotta go see if we can do it to the IS forum. I, I just gotta I just gotta see it. She's so strong. Let's go for underneath shot. <laughs> there we go. So multiple ways to use this. No target is safe from this gun. Great reload and the ability to bring a, a pretty hard to aim gun right on target very quickly just like that. That is very quick gun lane for a giant gun. This is a phenomenal addition and it brings joy to me to be able to use this thing effectively uh, or, or at least quickly to be able to engage the enemies. Now let's see if there's any custom battle for ground cargo port. Okay. You know what? I just might take this thing into a yeah, ground arcade. Let's just see what it happens in arcade and we're going to fully spec this, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be an auto loader on board already. Yeah, here we go. I just want to blow some stuff up. Test site. Uh, 
2271. Okay, we're going to take... We don't even want to use the M107. We want to use this guy. It's got uh, a lot more TNT. There we go. We'll fully load it. And we'll, we'll, we'll bring some uh, proxy fuse. Now, this is arcade, but this thing has a ton of power for <laughs> uh, for itself. Okay, we have SDRV over here. Okay, hang on. No, come on, come on. Okay, hang on, we got to back up from this guy. This guy's playing real. Get him, boys. I just wanted to test it out. This guy's playing SDRV. <laughs> there should be no repair times on the dev server. But, um... Absorb two shots so far. Hit. That is a composite turret. This is something that we would never verse. Right there looks really good. No, nope, a little bit higher. No, no, no. Good, good bounce, good bounce. Oh, wow. So, okay, hang on. Okay. We have uh, two crew left. How long? Oh, that is very choppy here. Seems that something's broken. Yeah, something's broken. Dang it. You know, we might have to just push him here. We go 78 kilometers an hour, but I think a little bit faster in the uh, arcade. Let's see this. No, maybe it's 73. Uh-oh, someone, uh-oh. All right, you know what? Uh, these guys are uh, too much, too much. We gotta go to a custom battle. It's really difficult to test out stuff on the dev server now. Like back in the day, you used to have like conventional vehicles. Now it's just, uh... all right, here we go. We're gonna try this. Hopefully no planes are allowed. They're all planes. Oh, it's just... Yeah, there's no one on the ground but me. Hmm. Maybe this will work. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, look at that. We must get into cover now. Ooh, there's another one. I wasn't able to spot him. Okay, okay. Now let's see. Can we zoom in here? Uh, I want to Britain Airfield, but I want to be. Okay. I want to be far away. Can we spawn here? Yeah, let's see this. Let's see how far we can get away from him. Um, I want to say we are very...
very far away. I think that's the airfield. Like, I'm going to be traveling. This is very far away. I'm going to be traveling probably... I would say like 10 kilometers here. But let's just see, because this is, this is, um, oh, okay. Did not expect that. Look at this thing perform, though. We will load our proxy fuse in case someone wants to do that, do that again. 67 is top speed. I felt like I saw a speed higher in that than the, uh, on the, um, Stat card in the hangar. Oh, oh! I th I thought it actually burst it. Oh wow, we're we're pretty much here at the airfield. It didn't take long. Maybe maybe five kilometers. Okay, raising up with switch ammunition. Yeah, and don't worry, I just put on the new um, sound effects for the uh, production server, too. I, I had it completely turned down. Oh, here we go. Okay, I finally arrived. Okay, we have SPG over here. I don't know if this is it. Oh. We got a fire. Come on, I just want to get a long shot off. Oh, I gotta sit fucking here for 32 seconds. Oh, where were you? <laughs> yeah, that's what he used the proxy. Yes, yes, beautiful. All right, we're not gonna do that again. That's just, that's that's pointless. We just gotta hope that we get a. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Is that? I thought it was a bomb. Let Let's use proxy on this guy. Oh, hey. Wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a minimum distance. It should. Yeah, it does. Hang on. Let's get back a little bit further. What is this guy doing? All right, let's try it again. No, oh, no. He's fine. Oh, look at that new MI8. Uh, don't. Let's see if we're friends now. <laughs> Annihilate it. Oh, there's the uh, chap. All right, let's let's test out our proxy again on the on Apple Seeds or <laughs> Apple Records. Oh wow, this this proxy is going to be pretty nasty, actually. You know what I wish War Thunder would add? 
I gotta be. I wish choppers, okay? I wish choppers could pick up air transportable vehicles and drop them off on certain places on the map. Now, it, it has to be on the map, but yeah, I'm just thinking this through, yeah. It would be pretty useless, but it would be fun. I mean, in War Thunder, we have entrenching tools that we don't know. Uh, no one's used it. The only person I've seen use it is me in my Centurion AVRV video. I would, I would love to see that because that that Mi8 just screams. Uh oh, getting close. That Mi8 screams transportation. That is a absolutely hideous chopper. Disgusting, but I love it. What's going on, guys? You wanna land on me? Come on. I know you want to. Oh, never mind. Okay. Lancaster proxy fuse. Short. He is far away. Let's use our laser. Oh wow, well, we were we were we were oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think he's out of his plane. Yeah, he's out of his plane. <laughs> Sweet. Ugh, I wish I had a giant proxy fuse. Okay, he's gone again. He's just gonna blast me. No, that's. <laughs> All right, we resetted our scope. That's a word. Okay, I'm gonna try to act friendly. We're gonna go behind this bunker and long, and then uh, send some long rangers off on these. Uh, Leopards. Uh, yeah, and that's the new leopard. The thing's freaking awesome. It's got like space ERA or space uh, chemical. Well, that is ERA, but. This is just for testing. We're going to try our proxy out on him. What is this? Oh, that guy's going to be mean? No? Okay, good. He's just going, whoa! Oh, those are spike missiles. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I think he's got protection on. Okay, proxy above a leopard. Let's try a little bit higher. Maybe a little bit too close now. Okay, got a critical. Yeah, this proxy's going to... Excuse, excuse me with that P. This proxy's going to be unreal at 7.7. .7. Okay, let's 
Oh, yeah! Dude, I love watching the tour. Again, another one. God, I could watch that all day. I wish it had more effect of it uh, pushing out, like more uh, smoke and stuff and stuff falling off the missile. That is... This guy has in, in, uh, invincibility, I believe. It did explode a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lasering him right now. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be very nice at 7.7. .7. Cannot wait to play this, especially on the big maps. We're going to have some serious, serious ability to do long range shooting with this. No skill required. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as you can on the dev server. It's hard to get uh, some testing footage with ground vehicles in these uh, days of the updates. But again, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.